Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So on this channel we like to review a couple potential questions from the FAA private pilot test prep. So today's topic is around dew point. But before we talk about dew point, let's talk about relative humidity. So humidity refers to the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere at any given time. Relative humidity is the actual amount of moisture in the air compared to the total amount of moisture that the air could hold. So for example, if the current relative humidity is say 60%, then that means the air is holding 60% of the total amount of moisture that it is capable of holding at that temperature and pressure. So the relationship between dew point and temperature defines the concept of relative humidity and the temperature largely determines how much water vapor the air can hold. The higher the temperature, the more water vapor. So now on to dew point. The degrees dew point is the value at which the air can hold no more moisture. So when the temperature of the air is reduced to the dew point, the air is completely saturated and moisture begins to condense out of the air in the form of fog, dew, frost, clouds, rain, or snow as example. So then up at altitude, clouds often form at the altitude where the temperature and dew point reach the same value. When air is lifted, unsaturated air, meaning air that's not 100% humidity, cools at a rate of 5.4 degrees per thousand feet. And the dew point temperature decreases at a rate of one degree per thousand feet. And this results in a convergence of temperature and dew point at a rate of 4.4 degrees. So you can apply this rate to the reported temperature and dew point to determine the height of the cloud base. So let's take that and look at an example. Let's say the temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say the dew point is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So the difference is 15. Then you divide that by the convergence rate of 4.4 and you get 3.4. Multiply that by 1,000 and then you get 3,400. So 3,400 feet then is roughly the base at which the clouds will form. So that's kind of neat. Now for your location and season, you probably have the base of the clouds forming in a general altitude range. In more humid locations, the base of the lowest cloud layer is going to only be a few thousand feet above the ground because the temperature and dew point aren't ever very far apart. So that where they converge is not very high. However, in desert locations, the opposite is true. Generally, they have a higher um, base layer of clouds, if any clouds at all, because the temperature and dew, dew point a lot of times are very far apart. So the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge has this interesting chart which shows the impact of temperature and water vapor. On the top left we can see how much water vapor the air can hold at different temperatures. Then in the left we can see a case of 100% humidity at 20 C. Any cooling will cause condensation to form. So then in the middle, it's assumed that we take that, but we drop the temperature down to 10 C. So the air cannot hold all the water that it held at the higher temp. So some of that will condense as water droplets and the humidity then stays at 100%. Then on the right, we take the same air and warm it up to 30 C. At 30 C, it can hold much more water vapor, so the relative humidity drops into the 50% range. So that's an interesting little graphic, and it shows how temperature and humidity work together. So with all that in mind, let's look at some potential questions on the FAA knowledge test. So the first one, what is meant by the term dew point? The temperature at which condensation and evaporation are equal, the temperature at which dew will always form, or the temperature to which air must be cooled to become saturated. So, right, it's the last one. Dew point is the temperature at which the air must be cooled to become saturated or have 100% humidity. So, the next one, the amount of water vapor which air can hold depends on the dew point, air temperature, or stability of the air. So, for this one, it's B. Air temperature largely determines how much water vapor can be held in the air. You know, warm air can hold a lot more water vapor than cool air. So then the last one, if the temperature and dew point spread is small and decreasing and the temperature is 62 Fahrenheit, what type of weather is most likely to develop? 
freezing rain, thunderstorms, fog or low clouds. So the last one, right? The difference between the air temperature and the dew point is the temperature dew point spread. As the temperature dew point spread decreases, fog or low clouds tend to develop. So when you see that temperature dew point getting two degrees C or less, then you can be mindful, you know, that fog or low clouds may develop. So there you go, everyone. A little information on dew point. Thanks everyone for riding along today. We'll hope you join us on our future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.